Hey agents, thanks for tuning into my latest video. For this one, I decided to release some of the or post some of the builds I've been using. Not that they are the best or the top builds in this game, but these are the best that RNG has afforded me the opportunity to make. So let's start off with the flawless one or the one I got the flawless patch with. It's a perfect unbreakable. As you can see, the patch there on my arm. Got it for the flawless a few weeks ago, so this is the build I've been using for that. Um, let me start off with um, why I'm using survivalist. Basically, I'm using survivalist because I'm always on the generator on four, so I do the crossbow part. That's why I'm always using survivor. Survivalist. Um, why I'm not using the eagle bearer is because to increase my survivability a bit. On my P416, I have um, preservation. Um, Allegro double DUD. I don't care about double DUD, it's just the best I have. Um, I will, I'm choosing damage to elites, 20 rounds, reload speed, and some more damage to elites. On Emeline's Guard, um, SMG, I'm using perfect, pre using it because it has perfect preservation, 20% um, extra magazine and protected reload and my damage to elite mods over there the gun i'm just using because of that transmission um so the shock if boomer or one of the npc shocks me i can't get it transferred into another npc and i'm using damage to elites i never use the gun actually but okay damage to elites i'm using a feathers for the mask um, 42 damage to elites, 10% AR damage, has a protection 23%, concussion for if I hit a headshot, not always so easy on console, but it's the best mask I have, I could use other things, but it's the best I have, um, perfect and breakable, zero ifs on this badger tough, gives me 7% damage to elites, 9.5 health, 16% total armor, 15% weapon damage and all on there. Can read there, it's perfectly unbreakable. Um, I have my two, my offensive mod on there, 1% weapon damage, rifle damage, assault rifle is 5%. And I have that new blue mod I picked up on the clan vendor, which is available this week. I would recommend you pick it up just because of explosive resistance. Um, so I put that on there. Um, for the whole stuff I'm using, you would notice I'm using two piece um, through Patriot. I'm only using that for the 10% armor buff, so that's what I'm using it for. I've selected 40% uh, health and I had 3% on it, so I thought health would be the better option to put on there. Um, my two offensive mods you can see there. I'm using a killer for the knees. Total armor 11%. Um, that's the best that I could find. I have my damage to elite on there because I need it. And I have two more of those mods I purchased from the from the clan vendor, level 30 clan vendor. I would recommend you do the same. Um, through Patriot Glove to fill out the two piece for my total armor. There's 12% assault rifle, the 10 health on there, and another. Um, offensive mod. I don't have another 5% mod, so that's the best one I have. And the only reason I'm using this ongoing directive backpack, the only reason is because of that total armor. Um, the good armor roll plus the total armor and hardened. Um, it pushes up my uh, my armor quite a bit. Um, you can see I have an offensive mod on there and utility, which I use for the 3% reload, reload speed, helps a bit. So what I was actually using before I, s I before I was using this ongoing directive, the biggest change I made was from this backpack. I used this one for quite a few months because of the 10% weapon damage. So I take a bit of heat on that, um, but as you can see the, the if I use that I'll go down to 345. If I co-op a mod it'll go up a bit, but it won't reach 47. So that's what I was using there. Uh, let me just have a look here, show you the stats on this one. There's no, this, this is a crit build, so there's no crit on the basically. 
21% all weapon damage 60% assault rifle and there you can see all the places where I have um, those mods and stuff on where it comes from 87% um, damage to elites perfect and breakable concussion max health health regeneration protection from elites that comes from survivalist explosive resistance that was come from the um, the new mods I have positive as a protection there isn't much hazard protection on here so this is not a DZ build it's only for the raid and that's about it guys I don't that's about it for for this build so like I said it's not the best one available um, you can have those guys running the raid probably with 500k armor you have guys running with 200 armor 200 health all kinds of crazy combinations but this is the one that I find it works um, it, it works even better than the old one I have and that one had uh, less armor and I had patience on, on the knees my damage to elites was somewhere else a second portion of it so that's basically the raid build um, 9, 12, 1, 4, 7 armor, 87 health the skill power doesn't matter I'm just using the reviver to pick me up if I, if I should go down especially on the Razorback and I'm using the Kim launcher um, because I use a lot of cover in Buddy and Lucy and on Razorback I'm on the generator a lot so that's why I use a Kim launcher if I need it so that's a build guys um, I'll cover I'll, I think I'll share my bloodsucker ones with you next but that's it for this one Good news.